Our next uh, uh, two speakers, actually, um, couldn't be more appropriate for where we've just left off in this conversation. The very work and the, the task of trying to reimagine what citizenship means, what it means to be a good person, uh, is in some ways a very childlike question, right? It's the kind of thing that kids will ask without guile, without having been formed and shaped in this is the way to be or that is the way to think. Um, and our next two speakers in different ways are going to activate this sense of wonder, I suppose. Uh, Jacob Soboroff, uh, many of you know uh, from TV or the screen, is a uh, host on HuffPost Live, uh, as well as an uh, on-air presence on AMC and has been on NBC. Uh, but he's also the founder, co-founder of an organization called Why Tuesday. Why Tuesday? Which, as you might have guessed or known already, asks, why do we vote on a Tuesday? Which, when you stop and think about it, is just one example of a profound set of whys that one could ask about all of our inherited notions of how we do democracy. Jacob is then going to be followed by Darnell Strom, uh, who is an executive at Creative Artists Agency, the great big Hollywood talent agency. Uh, and he's going to be talking to us about the role of story and culture and storytelling, not just to children, but to the inner children in all of us, storytelling in the formation of our sense of democracy and shared citizenship. So please join me now in welcoming to the stage Jacob Soboroff. Good morning. What's up, everybody? How you doing? What? Uh, all right. So here's the deal. I'm going to uh, talk to you today about how to ask why in public. You can ask why in private, too, but I, uh, I don't want to uh, intrude on your personal business, so we're going to stick to how to ask why in public. And as you'll see on the next slide, uh, I have a little bit of, uh, of self-promotion to do. Uh, take out your phones. That is my Twitter handle. And, uh, and, and there, you know, I want to say three things about why my Twitter handle is on the screen. One is, I would like more Twitter followers, please. Uh, the second reason is that I would like uh, some more Twitter followers. And the third reason is I actually, it's going to tie into something at the end of this talk. I want you to, you, I know we were told to put our phones away, but seriously, take this moment to take your phones out if you have Twitter. And I'm going to ask you all to do something at the end of this talk. So get your phones out, text your friends, tweet about this talk, take photos, call your mom, do whatever you want during my talk. It's all good. Uh, on the next slide, you'll see the second and last piece of self-promotion. I am one of the hosts of HuffPost Live, the streaming network of the Huffington Post. And I am telling you this because, one, uh, I would like you to tune into HuffPost Live. Uh, two, if you don't mind, I would like you to tune into HuffPost Live, please. And thirdly, uh, it actually ties into the, the next slide uh, quite well and exactly what I want to talk to you about today. So let's take a look at that next slide. Every day on HuffPost Live, I get to ask uh, politicians, uh, celebrities, influential Americans, ordinary people this question. Uh, why? And I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I get to put this to them. I get to have conversations every single day. Um, and uh, it's an extraordinarily important question I've found to, uh, for, for a few things, for making social change, uh, to getting to the heart of issues that we all care about, whatever they are. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But, but first, I want to go back uh, to the beginning, because I feel like we, we stop using this question why at a certain age. So uh, on the next slide, you'll see when we're kids, we ask why all the time. Why is the sky blue, Mom? Uh, you'll, on the next slide, you'll see, we ask, Dad, why do dogs bark? And let's look at the, at the next one. Then we say, why, 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 why? Uh, when we were kids, we probably drove our parents nuts. If you have kids, this probably drives you pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, as uh, Larry David would say. Um, but then as we start to get older, we, we take these, we, let's move on, we, we, see, we start taking multiple choice tests. 
And as we move on again, we'll see we start to use search engines. And we stop using our innate ability to inquire. We stop asking the question, why? And we start doing things like watching what you'll see on the next slide. I just wanted to put that slide in, in my talk. <laughs> Shout out to Kim Kardashian. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. We're here at, uh, at Citizen University to talk about um, being better citizens, about making our country a better place, about making our state a better place, about making our city a better place, about improving our democracy. And, uh, and how I learned about the power of the question why uh, relates exactly to what you'll see on, on this next slide, which is American voter turnout here in the world's most famous democracy ranks near the bottom of, it's not funny, but I, I have to laugh, it's, it's, this is terrible. We rank near the bottom of all countries in the entire world in voter turnout, 138th of 172 nations, 47.7%. How many of you are in school? 47.7% is a big fat F. So if America got a letter grade on our report card for the state of our democracy, the amount of people that show up at the polls, we would get an F. Not so good. So I started thinking about this and I met some people that posed a question to me that I, I realized I didn't know the answer to. And here's the, here's the question. Why Tuesday? Why the hell do we vote on Tuesday? Anybody know? You don't, have to say, you don't have to say it out loud, but I mean, think about it. I thought about it, and I couldn't figure it out. So I did some research, and this is what I found. <laughs> there is absolutely no good reason whatsoever to vote on Tuesday. I am not joking. The reason we vote on Tuesday, you won't find it here in the Declaration of Independence, nor will you find it there in the Constitution. It is just that, a stupid law from 1845. Moving on, uh, Americans traveled by horse and buggy in 1845, and so did I. Took a day or longer to get there to the county seat, a day to vote, and you couldn't travel on the Sabbath. So Tuesday it was. I do not often travel by horse and buggy. If any of you travel here by horse and buggy, that's really weird. <laughs> so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? I joined this group, check it out, Why Tuesday, whytuesday.org, and there were a lot of people way smarter than me asking this simple question, why do we vote on Tuesday? Uh, but it's not enough just to ask the question of yourself and of your friends and in private. You have to ask these questions in public if you want to make a difference. So that's exactly what we did. We grabbed a video camera, we went out in public, and we started asking our nation's most prominent elected leaders in 2005 if they knew the answer to the simple question, why do we vote on Tuesday? And this is what we found. Anybody know? Okay, I'm gonna be stumped on this. Anybody know why we vote on Tuesdays? Do you happen to know? On Tuesdays? Uh -huh. The Tuesday after the first Monday in November. Oh, I don't know the, 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 how that originated. Do you happen to know why we do vote on Tuesday? No. No, I don't. <laughs> Here at this school, that everybody. No. Uh, to be truthful with you, I'm not sure why they try. Okay, thanks very much. Oh, goodness gracious. These are, these are some of the most important statesmen and stateswomen in our nation, and they don't know the answer to the question, why do we vote on Tuesday? It's the day that they all live for, election day. But it wasn't just them. You guys might re recognize this guy. Let's take a look you at the You know why one. historically the elections are held on Tuesdays? I have no idea. And no one did. No one did. <laughs> but it's because... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Not funny, Mitt Romney. But what is funny is this. Check it out. Chris Rock said, they don't want you to vote. If they did, we wouldn't vote on a Tuesday in November. Do you ever throw a party on a Tuesday? No, of course not. Nobody would come. That's why Citizen University is on a Saturday. Oh, thank you, Chris Rock. 
So uh, take a look at this. Um, this is a serious problem. In this country, we have extraordinarily long lines to vote amongst many other problems with our voting system. And there is absolutely no reason that we should be waiting on lines for four or five or six or seven hours uh, to do our most fundamental duty to this country. And part of the reason is because we vote on Tuesday. It's not the only reason. Um, six years ago at Coe College in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, I had the privilege of asking the man that would become the President of the United States what he would do to fix our country's voting system. Take a look at this. Hey, Senator. Jake Sober of White Tuesday. How are you? Good to see you. You know the stats about the state of the voting system. Absolutely. The U U.S. ranks 139th out of 172 right. countries, far behind many other countries in the world. What do you think the state of the system is? Uh, can you talk to us about your election reform plan you're putting forward? Well, a couple things. Uh, number one, I think we have to make it easier to vote. Uh, and I'm assuming that uh, Y Tuesday is in favor of, for example, having it on weekends so that more people can vote. Uh, Same-day registration, I think, in a lot of states has been shown to make sense. Uh, you know, early voting is another way to encourage people and make it more convenient for them to vote. So, but this, it's been six years since he said this, right, to me. And we had been out asking the question, why Tuesday? Um, many of the people in this room have been doing extraordinary work, pushing for um, voter rights, uh, taking away restrictive voter practices, and nothing had happened. But because we asked this question, why Tuesday, in small part, and in large part because of the work so many have, of you have done, uh, just a couple months ago during the State of the Union, that same guy said this. Take a look. We must all do our part to make sure our God-given rights are protected here at home. That includes one of the most fundamental rights of a democracy, the right to vote. <laughs> now, When, when any American, no matter where they live or what their party, are denied that right because they can't afford to wait for five or six or seven hours just to cast their ballot, we are betraying our ideals. So. So tonight I'm announcing a nonpartisan commission to improve the voting experience in America. And it definitely needs improvement. Sure does. And what I hope is, is that if you all will join me in asking this question, why Tuesday, what that nonpartisan voting commission will, again, in part, come up with is what's on this next slide. It's a bill. It's called the Weekend Voting Act. It would move Election Day from the Tuesday after the first Monday in November, where it is for, as we've already talked about, absolutely no good reason whatsoever, to Saturday and Sunday, so that not just some of us can vote, but so everybody can vote. And for the first time in 168, 169 years, we are on the verge of changing this antiquated law in American history, and it's, and it's pretty awesome. I give credit, again, in tiny part, to asking this question, why? But you. You don't have to just ask, why Tuesday? Uh, let's move on. You know, whether you care about letting people that love each other marry each other, or whether you care about this next slide, letting people have the dignity and respect and the citizenship that they deserve, or this next slide about where we're fighting our wars around the world and the legal justification for doing it and how we're doing it, it all comes back to this. Why? I want you all to remember this question, and I want you all to try and continue to use it, because I've seen firsthand how extraordinarily powerful it is and the difference it can make. And, and at the beginning of the talk, I asked you all to take out your phones. Um, get them out again now, and take a look at this next slide. I want you to get on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter right now, use this hashtag, CU for Citizen University, why? And I want you to tweet right now, and if you don't have Twitter, ask your neighbor to tweet it for you. Your own why question, what it is that you care about, something that you want to question uh, authority about, something that you want to make a difference, something that you want to change. 
Uh, and, uh, and after Darnell speaks, uh, we're all going to come back up here and we're going to take a look at some of the why questions that you guys have come up with because I'm sure you could do a better job than I could at, uh, at coming up with these questions. So again, I want to say thanks to you all for being here. It's such an extraordinary and inspiring group. Um, and encourage you all to ask your own why questions, and I'm looking forward to reading some of them in just a little bit. Thank you very much.